When you come share your love of reading, you come share yourself for up to one hour a month for four months, you're going to impact hundreds of kids. The Real Read program has allowed us to extend learning from in school to at home. Over 100,000 books have went home. Over 54,000 students have been able to build home libraries. And these libraries are not just any book. The books are inclusive and diverse. It's important for the students to understand different perspectives and to open their world, world view. I like to read books that look like me and I like to read books to my brother that looks like me and him. By this program has also allowed us to get volunteers to come into the schools and to read for about 20 minutes and share themselves with the students. So now our students have real connections with real people out in the community and when they see somebody that enjoys reading, they see that somebody is important in the read, they understand themselves how important it is to read. I think uh, this program, Real Read, is important for our students, not only because it helps to promote the love to read, and to see mentors uh, reading to them, also parents, community partners together, getting together to help kids to, to grow their skills in reading. It's important to read to kids because I need to give back to my community and help out another kid in need. So I want to share a personal story that I did when I went to read with some kids, right? So a uh, late Manny Coke, he uh, had his class that he adopted to read to. Well, he couldn't make it at this one day, and so he asked me to take his place because he didn't want to let the kids down. They were expecting a reader. So I went in there and I read Ruby Bridges, right? And I'm no extraordinary reader or anything like that, but I read to the kids, we talked, and I asked them questions. And then afterwards, when I was leaving, I said, thank you guys, I enjoyed being here. And they all got up and they all ran up and they all was hugging me. And I was like, oh, you know, I felt great. I'm like, I know I didn't just read some amazing book and I wasn't some amazing reader, but they were hugging me. And they were all around me and, and they all looked up and there was one hand that came up and it was, he started grabbing my beard like that. So I looked down, I was like, I was like, what are you doing? You know, and he was a black male. He looked up, he said, I never touched a beard before. And at that moment, I knew that it wasn't just about reading a book. It wasn't just about going there and saying some words on a page. It was about being present, being there, being around them. You don't know whose life you change. It might be your own life. But for up to one hour a month, for four months, all of us can make a difference. All of us can go into a classroom, share yourself, share who you are. You don't know what the students are going to get out of it. But what I do know is that they appreciated me. I appreciated them. And I knew that this program had to be successful. It had to work.